Here is a pretty day. It's Saturday, about mid-August, and just finished our second year, or second week of teaching for this school year. And kind of a tradition now. Every time, about this time of year, we come out here to this little reservoir. And it's a good time to come out because with all the rains that the summer brings, it's uh, real fresh water, clean. Uh, we came out here when it was dry in Hong Kong and the water level was really low and kind of gross. So this is the time to do it. Um, I have to put up on the screen kind of a map of where this is at, not too far from Wukai Shaw Station. But it's really pretty, nice little oasis. Um, there was like a, an adventure uh, club or a group here that was training with rock climbing and and ropes and uh, they were having a good time so weren't the only ones here but that's okay uh, just gonna hike back uh, down the hill actually climb the rocks to get up to that little pool there gonna join the family and pack up and maybe eat some ice cream at the McDonald's down here uh, close to Wukasha station but all in all it's been a good uh, first two weeks and we did have back to school night this past Wednesday, so did have to put in a late night that night. But um, yeah, so far just kind of same old, same old. Um, gonna end up uh, going to our church tomorrow. Uh, our church is now on the island. Uh, it's Ambassador International Church, and we like like it a lot. But. Yeah, just a little small update for now and try to keep you all posted as as we live life here in Hong Kong. But we'll see you later. Bye bye. One of the rock climbers, probably one of the kids, left their helmet and gloves. So I raced down here to the trailhead to try to catch up with them, but they're long gone. Plus the trail, it forked in about five different ways. So who knows where they went. So I guess I'll leave it here and you never know if they come searching. Maybe they'll see it there on the edge. Probably just should have, I don't know, left it.
sitting there at the little pool area. Hard to say what to do in those situations, but we felt bad because our um, our cover to keep our stuff dry in the rain was actually covering it up, so it was a little bit our fault. On the way back, I skinned my knee on the dam. I was in such a hurry. So I'm a little bit bummed out I didn't make it to those hikers. While I'm waiting for Ezra, Sienna, and Sydney to get back, I guess I can tell a little story. So this scar here on my hand, that was done during my first year of teaching. And what happened was, good old kickball game with the fourth graders at Eugene Field. This would have been back in probably 2007, 2008. And there were some pretty good kickball games going on back then. Had a lot of fun. Um, and you know, I always wanted to impress the kids so I would always try a, a, a lot harder than I should have but I remember stepping up to the plate and kicking that ball about as far as I could trying to get all the kids to be like oh ah, Mr. Silver you're the best and I rounded first second third and then slid into home because it was really really close and as I slid, I put my hands out in front of me, and of course it was an asphalt uh, playground, and got my palm all skinned up really, really bad. <laughs> and I remember uh, my principal, she looked at it, and she uh, instantly was thinking, workman's comp, but I said no, no. <laughs> so I had the school nurse bandage it up, and, and slowly but surely it healed, and left me a scar to remember my my so yeah I ran out of memory there and uh, didn't really know it until now and I was editing my my film and was like this might be a problem <laughs> but yeah just to finish up the story uh, I always have that scar there to remind me of my first year teaching and it's a really special year so in a way I'm kind of glad I, I have that there because I uh, see it often and brings back some good memories. Oh, oh. Uh, yes, yes. <laughs> um, that look good, Ezra? Yeah, I'm gonna do the slippery things. 